Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here, and I was going to do my DVD collection for late 2022, but I decided to do it for January. It's now time to do my entire DVD collection 2023 edition. So let's get started. These first six I got yesterday. Vicky Christina Barcolano, which I've only seen bits and pieces of. It's a pretty good movie so far. Twins, rest in peace Ivan Reitman and Chloe Preston. I haven't seen it yet. The 40-year-old version, haven't seen it. 101 Dalmatians is the Out of Print 2008 Platinum Edition DVD, which is really rare. And Out of Print. Great movie. One of my fourth favorite Disney movie of all time. I got Lucy. I'm going to talk about some of these movies in my video. This is going to take more than a couple parts. I got Lucy. Haven't seen it. The Equalizer 2. I do have the first Equalizer, which I'll show in another part. I got Arlington Road, which I heard good things about, but I heard it has a depressing ending. 20th Century Women. This is the only A24 movie I have in my collection. And the only A24 movie I've seen is Ex Machina. I got Ice Age. Great movie. The, the first Blue Sky Seas movie ever made. Really great movie. Ice Age The Meltdown, which I might like a little bit more than the first one. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs, which is a guilty pleasure. I enjoyed it. And please don't hate me, I have Ice Age Clearing Course. I think this one was really good, in my opinion. It's a guilty pleasure. I hope to get Continental Drift back in the collection. Got Child's Play, the 2019 reboot. Not that bad. I enjoyed it. I got The Omen, the 2006 remake. Not as good as the original, but I, I do hope to get the original. The first, the original, the first four movies on VHS and DVD. This one I really enjoy, but not as much as the original. Heat, great movie. Probably my favorite Michael Mann movie, And So It Goes, with, directed by Rob Reiner, and it has Michael Douglas and Diane Keaton. I hope to watch that one sometime. Safe Haven, which I got from my late friend Darcy, rest in peace. This is this movie I watched bits and pieces of. It's pretty good so far. It's the only Nicholas Sparks movie I have. I hope to get the rest of his Nicholas Sparks movies. Machete, I hope to get the sequel, Machete Kills. I really want to see Machete Kills. I hope to get that one. This one is a great movie. Steven Seagal was great as the villain. I got the Dr. Doolittle 2 pack, which includes Dr. Doolittle the remake from 1998 and Dr. Doolittle 2. I enjoyed both of them. I am not getting Dr. Doolittle 3, 4, or 5, and I am not getting the two, the Robert Downey Jr. movie Doolittle from 2020 because that film sucked. I do have to get the original back in the collection. I got 90 Museum 1 and 2 double feature. Rest in peace, Mickey Rooney and Robin Williams. I enjoyed both of these movies, but my personal favorite is the first one. The first one's great, second one's also great, and I also got Night Museum, Secret of the Tomb, and I did not enjoy the latest Night, Night Museum that was animated, Commander Rises Again. I will rewatch the Commander Rises Again to see what my thoughts are on it, but as of right now, I don't like the movie. I got The November Man, which I got because it has Will Patton and Pierce Brosnan, and I do love Pierce Brosnan as an actor. So yeah, this, is, this movie I haven't seen, but I do hope to watch it. Man on Fire, a very underrated Denzel Washington movie. Really, really underrated. And this is the remake, of course. I think. Candyman, really great movie. And going back to Man on Fire, rest in peace, Tony Scott. Got Candyman, I do hope to get this movie on VHS, and I hope to get Candyman's 2 and 3 on VHS and DVD. And I do hope to get the, the latest Candyman movie from 2021 on DVD or Blu-ray. The Jordan Peele produced Candyman movie. The Gift, very underrated thriller, very, very great movie. Spotlight, which is another DVD I got from my friend Darcy before she sadly passed away, unfortunately. May she rest in peace. As you guys all know, my friend Darcy passed away in September of 2021, which was a, a year ago. And she died the same month as my and year as my friend Miss Nikki Wolf. Also rest in peace. Spotlight is this movie Spotlight I think is a little bit overrated, but I enjoyed it. The Possession, the first Focus Features movie ever released. I haven't seen this movie in a while. I do have to rewatch it. I remember liking it. Three O'Clock High. I do have to get the movie Fist Fight, which is a remake of this, I believe. Three O'Clock High is a really, really underrated comedy. A Quiet Place. Great movie. I do have to get A Quiet Place Part 2 sometime. Shrek. Great movie. This is the Out of Print 2001 DVD. Shrek 2. Which I got from my sister Kim. Huge shout out goes to her. Shrek the Third. I haven't seen it. The only Shrek movie I'm missing now is Shrek the Forever After. Flushed Away. Very underrated. Very underrated DreamWorks animated movie. The Legend of Bagger Vance. Haven't seen this movie in a while. 
I do also have the Legend of Agravance on VHS, which I'll show when I show my VHS collection. These next three are Steven Spielberg movies, AI Artificial Intelligence, I haven't seen it. Rest in peace, William Hurt. Minority Report. This one has the full screen case, but inside it has a widescreen DVD inside. Rest in peace, Max von Sydow. I heard great things about this movie. Same with AI Artificial Intelligence. War of the Worlds, the 2005 remake. I haven't seen this one, nor have I seen the original. I hope to get the original on VHS and DVD. Hotel for Dogs, really, really sad movie. This movie made me cry. I remember this is kind of an embarrassing story to talk about, but yeah, when I watched this movie for the first time um, at my when I lived with my mom, I cried so much that I and please don't laugh at me. Um, this is an embarrassing story. I I cried. I was so upset that this movie made me so sad that I ran to my mom. And it just made me cry so much. But I do have to rewatch this movie. And rest in peace to Ivan Reitman. The late Ivan Reitman is one of the executive producers. Rest in peace, Ivan Reitman. I've got Red Eye, Rest in Peace, West Craven. This movie I haven't seen in a long time, but I remember liking it. I think it might have been one of the first PG-13 rated movies I saw, I think. Flags of Our Fathers. I haven't seen this movie, but I do have the novel to this one. I do hope to get the. F I used to have the follow up to this movie, the letters from Iwo Jima, but I threw the disc away because disc one, the movie was 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 rotted. The disc would not play in my Blu-ray player, so I decided to throw it away. I do hope to get letters from Iwo Jima back in the collection. This DVD I got for free from a guy on Facebook named Craig, as you guys know from my huge VHS update on November twenty seventh. Sweeney Todd, Demon Barber, Fleet Street. Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber, of Fleet Street. Excuse me. Rest in peace to Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman played a great villain in this movie. This is probably one of my favorite Johnny Depp performances next to his performance in Black Mass. Gladiator, rest in peace, Oliver Reed and Richard Harris. I can't wait, I hope this, I can't wait for the sequel. I heard rumors that um, Ridley Scott says he, he has a script ready for Gladiator 2 and he'll be filming that after, after his, he's done filming his movie Napoleon. Unfortunately, his new movie, Napoleon, is not going to be released theatrically. It's going to be released on Apple TV, but I'm hoping I can... I would get an Apple TV account, but I'm more, ha I'm much more happier with my Disney Plus, Hulu, and HBO Max accounts. And if you guys haven't seen Gladiator, I highly recommend it. I got Match Point with Scarlett Johansson. I got this movie because it has Scarlett Johansson. This movie looks awesome. This is another Woody Allen movie. Blades of Glory, full screen, but it doesn't matter. This one I thought was very underrated. Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. This one I haven't seen in a while. I love this movie. Probably my favorite Will Ferrell movie. It's either that or Elf. Anchorman, The Legend Continues, which I still haven't seen. I got Capote, Rest in Peace to Philip Seymour Hoffman. This is easily his best performance. My favorite performance by Philip Seymour Hoffman. Great movie. Radio. Another movie that made me cry. This movie was used to be the num the movie that would make me cry. That made me cr the, that made me cry the most. But now, this movie was beat by My Girl, which I cried twice during that movie. Which I hope you get My Girl on DVD. Radio. If you guys haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. If you like Cuba Gooding Jr., even though I kind of lost respect for him, but I'm not going to explain why because you guys pretty much know. Radio is a really great movie. Cuba Gooding Jr. gives one of his best performances in this movie and. Ed Harris was great in it as well, along with Alfred Woodard. The next Karate Kid, a lot of people hate this Karate Kid movie, but I enjoyed it. I watched it on Netflix during work when I was working at this, at a, when I was briefly working at um, Point Break Fitness in Lincoln City, Oregon. And if you guys haven't been to, po to Point Break Fitness, I highly recommend you guys go there and because they, it's a great place to work out and and stuff like that. So rest in peace, Jerry Moon dropping back. Marietta. This one I enjoyed. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that this one did not come out on 4K. I got The Karate Kid, the 2010 remake. I do have the original 1984 movie, but I will show that. I already showed that in my DVD, my Blu-ray collection. I got Star Trek, the 2009 reboot. Rest in peace, Leonard Nimoy and Anton Yelchin. So yeah, this is a really... This movie I haven't seen. This is one of the... I do hope to get Star Trek and the Darkness back in collection. I hope to get Star Trek Beyond. And those are... This and... This is, Star Trek Beyond and Star Trek and the Darkness are the only Star Trek movies I haven't seen. I got The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Great movie. One of two David Fincher movies. The other one I'll show late in another part. There Will Be Blood. Great movie by Dan starring Daniel D. Lewis. It's probably my favorite performance. It's either that or Lincoln. 
I got Beowulf, director's cut. I haven't seen this movie, but it has Angelina Jolie, Anthony Hopkins, Ray Winstone, John Malkovich, Robin Wright Penn, and also Crispin Glover from Back to the Future. So yeah, I got a three-movie action pack of Dwayne Johnson movies, which includes Hercules, Pain and Gain, and G.I. Joe Retaliation. I hope to get G.I. Joe The Frides of Cobra back in the collection. I hope to get Snake Eyes. So I used to have her the only movie I've seen in this three movie action bag is Hercules with Dwayne Johnson. It was a really awesome movie. I used to have the Blu-ray steelbook of Hercules with Dwayne Johnson, but I threw it away because I actually I donated it because the steelbook was in bad condition. I got the Mark Wahlberg Five Film Collection with Blues Pain and Game, The Gambler Shooter, The Fighter, and the Italian Job. The only movie I've seen in this set is The Fighter, and that is a fantastic movie. I heard the Gambler got bad reviews. I got the Jackass 7 movie collection. It doesn't really contain 7 movies. Excuse my language. It just includes the first movie. It's a, it includes Jackass the movie, Jackass number 2, Jackass 2.5, Jackass 3D, Jackass 3.5, and Bad Grandpa po and Bad Grandpa point five. I do have to get Jackass forever sometime again. Excuse my language. I got The Naked Gun. Rest in peace, Leslie Nielsen and um, George Kenny. This is a hilarious movie. I'm very disappointed that they're remaking that one. The Naked Gun 2 and a Half to Smell Fear, another great sequel. Got The Naked Gun 33 and 3rd to Final Insult. Definitely the weakest in the series, but still a very funny movie. And also, Rest in Peace to Fred Ward and Anna Nicole Smith. I got The Enemy at the Gates. Rest in Peace, Bob Hoskins. I hope to watch that because it's a war movie. Titanic. I haven't seen this movie. Please don't hate me. Airplane. Classic movie. I hope to get the sequel sometime. South Park, Bring Along the Uncut. Great movie. Really funny movie. And Glorious Bastards, excuse my language, great movie. Rest in peace to Rod Taylor. And Glorious Bastards is my third favorite Tarantino movie. My second being a Reservoir Dogs and my number one being Pulp Fiction. I got Funny People. This one I haven't seen, but I heard it was a great movie. I got Knocked Up. Haven't seen it, but I heard great things about it. King Kong, the 2005 movie. I haven't seen the King Kong 2005 movie, but I heard good things about it. And I got it from my late friend Darcy yet again. Scarface, Def this is my new number one favorite movie of all time. This is a fantastic movie. Al Pacino's best performance. In I think it's one of his best performances since The Godfather. I got The Pianist. I haven't seen this movie, but it won three Academy Awards. So I plan on watching it. And the last DVD I'm going to show for this part, before we move on to part two, is Fear. Which stars Mark Wahlberg as a bad guy, and also stars Reese Witherspoon. Yeah, I hope to watch this movie sometime. I heard it's getting a remix. So that is it for part one of my DVD collection early. No, my, that's it for my DVD collection 2023 edition, which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys all in part two, which I'll probably do either today or tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Adios.